Hello and welcome to our Golf Performance Specialist Training Program and the title here sums up the presentation for you. I'm going to be pretty quick with whipping through it all today just to give you so I don't take too much of your time but um, but the, the title here is really sums it up. Your biggest golf handicap just might be your conditioning meaning that we, we, what we're touching on is that how do you, you can improve your body's performance and its movements and you'll significantly improve your game and prevent injury along the way. All right, so the mission today is to provide you a better understanding as to the need for the golf conditioning, uh, for, for training and conditioning for the golf player. Um, Well-designed exercise program specific to the game of golf not only improves your performance but will prevent many of the injuries. Um, now understand if also if you're not a golf player, this relates to you heavily because um, the exact same program we use with most people with rehabilitation is the same thing in the game of golf for this golf program. The golf program just magnifies weaknesses in your body because anyone who plays the game of golf will tell you if you're only like a centimetre off on the, on your swing, it could mean 50 metres the ball goes the wrong way. Right, you might slice it, hook it, um, overhit it um, just by being just a fraction out. So if you can get your body to have no chinks in its armour and, um, and be able to replicate movements consistently, You'll play the game better, and you won't have any problems. So, um, this is what we're what our program's all about, and hopefully we can show you um, some examples of what that looks like. Um, who are we? Why should you listen to us? Well, I've been a trainer for over nearly nearly ten years now, um, really specialising heavily in the areas of rehabilitation, core strength training, um, and and a lot of sports performance stuff. I used to play a lot of sports myself. Um, so I have a good understanding of the movements required. Um, got extensive qualifications across many of the areas and both Melissa and I are golf performance specialists certified, um, which is why we're releasing this program. We've been working on it for quite some time. Melissa has a lot of qualifications in other areas to me with massage and nutrition. So we're sort of the all shop stop, all stop shop um, place where you can get everything. Um, so we really cover all bases in terms of a fully rounded out training program. Um, our business itself, we've won awards the last three years, um, recognised in Australia for um, within the fitness business industry. So um, yeah, we really we really are trying to push the boundaries of like teaching people the the importance of good movements and and like I said, we 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 really trying to um, target. The, the areas of like uh, uh, people that have no real understanding of um, or setting like the knowledge is poorly based on there's a not really much of a plan behind that either um, so we really try to like give you as much information as you can to and then teach you how to do it on your own um, so that you become the best golf player you can be or or if you're not a golf player um, just have no injury and just move around really well lose weight, all that sort of thing. All right, so let's move on. Did you know that some of the <clears throat> um, elite golf players currently have their own strength and conditioning programs? Say 20 years ago, this was not the case, but today it is the case. Um, we all know Tiger Woods uses a strength training program and um, and his physical prowess is often noted upon on the TV and in the magazines, all that sort of stuff. But when he first started playing, he was actually highly flexible um, person who was prone to injury from hypermobile joints, meaning that the joints would bend too far the wrong way because he had not enough um, tension in there. So uh, most people lack flexibility, he had too much. All right. Um, part of our golf assessments is defining what type of person you would be to then know which way to go with your training. Um, to just copy his program would not be a good idea because your body might be completely different to him and you could actually make yourself worse, not better. All right, so um, my point here, though, is the current professionals are really adopting all of this stuff and because they know that's exactly what... They, they're the people that hit the ball, not the clubs on its own. All right, so um, so that's why it's so important to do. All right, so let's uh, move on. So most people would say then, oh, well, if, if Tiger's lifting weights, all I need to do is go to the gym, start lifting weights, and I'll be automatically better. It doesn't work that way. A lot of people base their training, or most 90% of people, what they do these days is based on bodybuilding. Um, it's another story altogether, but 
you know bodybuilders that's fine they can do their stuff but unfortunately most people aren't bodybuilders but they're training to be a bodybuilder all right um, that type of training will ruin you as a golf player these exercises here these are terrible ex the squat is a good exercise but that's a terrible demonstration of it and the bench press doesn't relate to golf game in any way shape or form all right so um, you need to have specific exercises to improve movements not muscles and especially movements that improve your swing all right so just to look good won't mean that you're a better player all right and understand that that type of injury will, uh, that type of training will create injury as much as the golf game does so at any given time 30 percent of the professional guys are playing injured all right 53 percent of males 45 percent of females suffer from back pain elbow pain is the second most common injury these can all be easily avoided if you had a good training program specific to you that's the key specific to you working on your weaknesses of your of your body within the game all right so uh, injury is a huge element that must be looked at and so so what do most golfers currently do get professional lessons practice consistently improve the game they've got nothing wrong with that that's awesome um, but you know they haven't really looked at their biggest thing that they should have done first was themselves but we'll touch on that in a second second thing they do buy a brand new set of golf clubs that claim to do this 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 and eradicate swing faults and turn you into some miraculous player all right probably spend a couple of grand even more sometimes um, they also have no strength training program have no stretching program or flexibility program no stability or core training pro probably don't even know what that means or how to do it anyway um, as with posture no understanding of posture its relevance to the game of golf or even if they did how would you improve it um, understanding of power training the golf swing is a power movement no different to baseball discus javelin it's it's exactly the same it's actually a higher um, rate of um, of torque on through the spine uh, and, and the abdominal muscles muscles as such uh, they rarely warm up and they often blame their golf clubs all right as you can see in the picture here which um, I've seen many people do in the past all right what they must understand is that people play the game of golf not the clubs the clubs cannot swing by themselves unfortunately the majority still fail to realize that the piece of equipment that ultimately will determine their golfing success and allow them to play well for years to come is their own body all right so now that we know that what do you need to do well you what can you physically do to improve your swing train movements not muscles so your key movements to train are your squats your lunges bending movement pattern and you can see there's a picture of Melissa with a bending movement pattern there twisting movement pushing movement and a pulling movement um, there's actually a seventh one which would be gait which would be the action of running walking um, but for the sake of this video we won't go down that road uh, talk about that one too much um, basically any weakness in these movements will contribute to faulty, a faulty swing path most likely injury or poor performance or all of the above all right so you need to have an assessment process to work out uh, what, what's your current level of ability at all of these and then if there's any deficits there you need to have correct exercises that will improve them all right so um, just by increasing muscular strength on its own can bring can generate an extra eight kilometers per hour on your swing which will increase your drive by 25 to 30 meters so you don't need to buy any expensive clubs you really needed to do is improve your strength improving your muscular control which is like your stabilizer system your rotator cuff your abdominal muscles um, the sequence of timing of from from your the weight shift of your feet through your torso and out through your arms that's that's what muscular control means any weakness within that can decrease your drive by 15 to 20 meters all right um, endurance the game is 18 holes long you know it takes a couple of hours to play you need uh, you need a decent level of fitness to get through the game um, uh, in, increasing your power and your consistency you know, there's one other thing that golfers would love to have is a consistent game which would decrease re fatigue and, and in, you know and, and recovery time all right so physical training is as you can see now is becoming even more important than ever improving your stability and balance and there's a quote here that um, from Paul Cech's book um, uh, you cannot fire a cannon from a canoe so just think about that for a second if you're on a boat it's rocking and rolling from side to side and you're trying to aim for a specific target 
it's very unlikely you're going to hit that target if that boat's rocking and rolling. If you can find a way to make it stable, um, you've got a much better chance of hitting the target. And that's exactly the same as a game of golf. The picture's here of Melissa standing on the BOSU or the balance board. And we get a lot of people when they first come in, they, they are just blown away with just how bad their balance is. All right. Um, and, and I'll put here stability is important because... Uh, all your movements and activities are, need to be created from a stable body. If you're not stable, then you'll do them poorly. No two ways about it. All right. So um, flexibility to create a huge coil or torque to generate more power, you need to have really good flexibility, and that's you know it's huge. We just find so many people that just have no flexibility. Um, training program of any kind <laughs> and they've probably done nothing for 10 years and wonder why their game is not as good as it could be and they're getting endless lessons to improve something that will not improve because their flexibility is just terrible um, and I've put here tight hip flexors when Melissa's doing a quad stretch here um, with partly hip flexor stretch as well the tight hip flexors limit your hip rotation throughout your swing which can cause over rotation of your spine lack of power in the downswing shortening of your follow through you know, you know like so if just your one stretch could improve those three things wouldn't you want to do it all right so uh, but again don't just go and start doing that now because if you're the person that doesn't need it you could create problems you need to know you need to do an assessment first to find out if you if you need that or not um, here's an excellent exercise to try, and there's a good video that we shot on that. I'll throw the link in for you um, on, on the video here. Um, uh, and this one will significantly improve rotation uh, by using the nervous system to activate uh, what they call proprioception um, and loosen joints. Um, and this is a, a really good warm-up exercise prior to playing the game of golf. And um, if you did this every day, trust me, you will noticeably feel an improvement in how you rotate. We also use this extensively with um, people who have a lot of neck and shoulder pain. Also a great exercise for that. Okay, so what other training do I need to do? Well, the four factors you have to address in order to improve are in this order. So we know the six movement patterns, but when we're assessing the movement pattern, we're assessing it in this order. We're assessing it for flexibility, stability, strength, and then power. All right, and it has to be done in that order. You can't just go to step three without looking at step one and two, which is where most people start. And that's why they have all sorts of problems. So when you address things in this order, um, everything goes nice and smooth and you pretty much cover every base and there's a continual progression of, of like, you just feel like everything's coming together. Uh, all right, so uh, anyone that we have for rehabilitation, it's exactly the same. Like I said, you could come in and never hit a golf ball in your life and we'll be covering the same order here, all right? Um, so the basic understanding of this is get checked before you get wrecked. So, so instead of just scheduling lessons to correct your swing faults, book an assessment, get a, an appointment, get an asse a functional assessment from us. Um, this this assessment can detect deficiencies and assist in developing your individualized conditioning program. So we're, we're gonna be launching our golf performance program which is a total of 12 group sessions small group sessions probably you know six to ten people tops um, and in, within this you get an individual individualized stretching program stability and strength program a swing fold analysis and corresponding stretches and exercise to correct it a warm-up routine that's currently used by a lot of the pros um, access to prints outs and pictures of all the videos um, so you can execute the program exactly the way we show you and in addition to this, we're going to be bringing down a friend of ours, Ken Drews, who was in a course with us when we went through our certification, and he was playing in the PGA. He's won a few of the, he won the Victorian Open, the Singapore Open. Um, a phenomenal guy and, and to show you everything about swing faults and how to correctly prepare for your game. So that part of this program is going to involve the bonus workshop with Ken. So you really don't want to miss out on this because this is like a, a one-off thing to be able to, you know, meet up with a pro like this. Um, so we're going to start this around about the first week of March. 